Where I'm from, it's hard to trust the weather reports, but every once in a while, they get it right. And on this occasion, they absolutely nailed it. Let me show you how our day went. As we went to sleep the night before, it wasn't even raining, but the report was correct. Snow was in the forecast, and this is what we woke up to. After shoveling the driveway, we made the slow trek out to the trails. We've aired down, and here we go. For comparison's sake, let me show you what this trail looked like a few weeks ago. It's steep, it's rocky, and it has ice underneath. But it was completely dry, so we figured we were going to give this a shot here in the snow. As you can see, the Forerunner performed really well. It made it up here no problem. We did use the locker. But anyways, if you didn't have any catch this video, I'm going to link it above in the description right here. And we're back to reality. So anyways, let's see if we can make it through it here. I'm all kinds of messed up here. There's big rocks underneath me. I got a log stuck underneath me and this thing keeps trying to kick me over. Last thing I want to do is completely cave in my door or tip it over. Well, looks like we're not going to be able to make this, I don't think. So, this part's not too bad normally, but looking at this right here is, this is pure ice underneath here. So you'll tilt the camera down here. So, this is probably like three, four inches thick of just solid ice down here. And the problem I'm having is there's this giant rock here in the door. And yeah, so we'll see. Made it up here a couple of weeks ago, obviously, when there was just a little bit of ice and no snow. But so far it's trying, proving to be pretty tough. I don't know, give it a couple more tries, see if we can make it. If not, maybe we'll have to go to plan B and we'll go down to another spot. So let's give it a try. Well, unfortunately, abort mission. Uh, I was too worried about the door there. It's a little bit slippery. I just couldn't make it in the truck today. So we are going to do another spot here. So anyways, let's, uh, let's just keep going and we'll try something different here instead.
All right, maybe you guys can do me a favor. Give me a big shout out to my wife, Sabrina, here. She definitely pays the price sometimes for all these clips that we get. So anyways, have a look at this one. There you have it. So what a guy, right? Sends his wife out in harm's way. Anyway, she's a trooper. Thanks so much, B. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so funny because my dog's scared of it, my camera too. Yeah. So guys, I'm sure you don't mind. Just gonna get a little quick shot of the fire here. Well, we just got back to air up and uh, yeah, it was quite the day. Uh, unfortunately, earlier on, I missed some really, <laughs> really uh, sketchy moments there. We, uh, my partner here, uh, Albert, he almost went up the main FSR. Uh, we had some, it was just a rush. There was cars uh, all over. There was just a couple groups that we ran into. It was quite the mess. And uh, we had to do a recovery there, uh, probably three vehicles actually. Unfortunately, I didn't film any of that. I just, I didn't want to make anyone feel bad or, um, yeah, I didn't know anybody there. so. Anyways, um, yeah, quite the day. Didn't uh, quite make it to the spot we wanted to, but hey, we gave it a shot. It was a beautiful day, snowed a lot. So anyways, thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, want to help support the channel? Please consider giving me a like on the video and possibly watch one of my next videos here. Thanks so much, guys. Catch you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>